Hey guys, so you asked for it and here it is. This is a video featuring my favorite brushes. So I'm going to go over what I use these brushes for, what makes them so unique in my collection and what makes them great in their usage. And I'm actually going to do a separate video for my face brushes versus my eye brushes because if I kept them all in one video, it would be far too long. So if you want to see my favorite face brushes, then stay tuned for this video and I hope you enjoy. So one of my favorite brushes for foundation is my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. This is the F80 and you can find this brush at sigmacosmetics.com and there are certain stores that do have Sigma Cosmetics brushes and these retail for $21. It used to be $16 but since then it's been a $5 increase. So it's very dense, it has, it's very soft. I love the Sigma Kabuki brushes. Those are some of the brushes that I will highly recommend. It's a flat top brush and it really allows you to buff foundation in over your skin. And because it has a relatively large head, it allows you to buff the, br the foundation quickly over your skin for a nice even airbrush finish. Now one thing I will warn you about this brush, even though I love it, it is not the best made brush so when you wash it be very careful because you're using it for foundation and for cream products it will get very clunky and coated with product and you have to really rub at it to get the product out which can actually push the bristles down into the ferrule and that I think is one of the setbacks of this brush it's a great brush for foundation but when you're cleaning it be careful because the glue gets loose you push the bristles down it loses form it loses shapes shape the bristles fall out and I've actually had the handle fall out of the, the, the ferrule as well so be mindful of that it comes with a cost it's gonna be one of those tricky brushes which is why I don't invest in these anymore. So as a replacement to that brush, I've fallen in love with the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffin Foundation brush, brush from IT Cosmetics and it is the same concept, same shape, but this is far more expensive at $48 and it's available at Ulta.com and you can also get it from itcosmetics.com and it's also available at QVC and if you luck out you can get it in a kit where you get it with your foundation and it balances out where you get two products for the same price. So I really recommend this brush because it does the same thing as the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. It's really soft, it's a little bit larger, and it really buffs in for an airbrush finish to your liquid and cream foundation. It is a little pricey, so if you want to do more budget friendly, definitely go for the Sigma version, but you're going to run into issues with quality with Sigma. With this brush, I have had no issues with cleaning it, the bristles are held in there very securely and the ferrule is nice and secure on the brush so you're getting quality for the price but you know if you're more budget friendly go for Sigma. Another great brush for foundation is the Marc Jacobs the face number no. 2 brush which is an angled brush with the same kind of kabuki style it's very it's synthetic it's very soft and it has that separate white and black hair it is really great for buffing in foundation and because of the angled shape it can get into the contours of your face it's very great it's nice but it's $48 again so it's one of those investment brushes but again it's gonna get the job done it's large it's gonna buff this thing the foundation in these kinds of bristles will really give an airbrush finish to your foundation and because of this angular shape it's great for getting into the contours of your face it really blends the foundation really well under your eyes along your nose so this is a great brush again it's $48 at Sephora and again you're paying for the quality of the brush because it holds secure the ferrule is really secure and tight. The bristles are held in tight as well. So you won't have this brush falling apart on you. I haven't had that issue. And remember, you have to be more vigorous when cleaning these brushes. So with them being held securely, that will give you longevity or a great long life of this brush. Again, it's pricey, but it's worth the investment. Another brush that I've fallen in love with is the Air Buki Bamboo Powder Foundation Brush from Tarte, which I... I really can't live without anymore. I'm so in love with this brush. I have two of them and these cost $26 each and it's almost like a miniature kabuki brush in that it's small, it has a pretty sizable base but the bristles themselves are short and stubby 
they're not the traditional longer hairs they're really stubby which actually makes it really great for buffing in foundation whether it be liquid mineral or powder I love this brush and because it is so dense it is really soft it really allows you to buff foundation into your skin so you can buff the foundation over your skin and get a full coverage full flawless airbrushed finish I love this brush I have one that I use for liquid and one for powder because I want to keep those products separate but I love this brush and I think it is a great investment too if you don't mind using a short handle for your foundation and it actually works out great because you can apply more or less pressure depending on what you are going for. Moving on from foundation I have some contour brushes that I'm really in love with. I love the Sigma Angle Top Kabuki F84 brush because of this nice angular shape to it. It's nice and dense and really soft and it really buffs in your contour product. So if you're using powder or cream, this will give you a nice chiseled effect to your jawline. You can also use this supply product to your forehead. So bronzer, contour products, cream products. This works really well because of the synthetic hairs. And because I use this mostly for powder, I don't have the same issue as as the flat top kabuki brush where the bristles fall out and the handle falls off. This, because I don't have to clean it as vigorously because I use it with powder products, it actually holds up a lot better. So I love this brush. I think it's a definite recommend. And this one is $21 also at SigmaCosmetics.com. Now another brush that I love for contouring is my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Angled Radiance Brush and this one is the same concept as the Sigma Angled Kabuki only it's a little bit smaller even the handle is a little shorter and it gives you a little bit more control because of the size it's also smaller so it gives you you can get more chiseled effect you can get a smaller contour with this and I really love this brush because it's really soft and it's really um, nice for buffing in color you can use it with powder and cream and it's $38 at itcosmetics.com Ulta Cosmetics you can also get it on QVC again with those bundled deals I think it's a great brush and I love how it's a little bit looser than the Sigma Angled Kabuki so I can get a more lighter a, a much lighter finish I can get um, I can do a little bit more of an airbrush finished, a lighter pigmentation from my contour if I really want to buff it in and fade it out. It also works great for blush if you're interested in using it for that. Now we can move on to the blush brushes in my life and I am in love with the Cosette S135 brush. This brush is heaven sent. I've been in love with this brush for years and I haven't found a replacement. It's a small domed brush with synthetic fibers and the synthetic hair actually feels so close to natural hair, it's ridiculous. It's a great brush for blushing, brushing on blush, what? It's a great blush brush. It's very airy, very light, very soft. It's great for applying just a little bit of color and fading it in, giving you a light flush or you can use it to build up color. It's also great for applying highlights to the tops of your cheeks. It's great for applying um, contour color as well because you can get, because of the rounded shape at the top, you can get right into your cheekbones. This is a very versatile brush and if it's one brush that I'd highly recommend, it would be this brush. It is $29 at Cosette.com and I think you can also pick it up at another website, I forget what it was, but definitely Google the S135 brush from Cosette. These are fantastic brushes. I have actually three of them and I'm very happy with them. And like I said, I've had these for three years or more and I have had no issues with these coming apart on me. Again, I use it for powder products, so washing them isn't an issue. These are great brushes. Then another high-end brush that I fell in love with is the Chanel Number no. 2 Powder Contour Brush which I learned from Tiffany, Makeup by Tiffany D. She loves this brush and I went ahead and grabbed it. And it's a pricey brush so it's not something I would definitely tell you to run out and get and go outside of your budget. But if it's within your budget and you wanna splurge on a great brush, this is a great one. It is a little bit scratchy and when I bought, when I got it, I was like, why is this brush so scratchy? It's, a, it's not the softest, most luxurious brush, but because it's a little bit more scratchy and it, the bristles aren't as soft, it gives you a more airbrushed finish, which makes no sense, but it, re it really does do a great job at applying blush. It's very airy, it's great for applying contour, 
bronzer all over your face it's a very large brush too so it covers a great area so if you're looking for precision this is not the brush for you but if you're going to use it for bronzer or for blush because it has a very angled shape here you can apply your blush very nicely but it's large enough to apply a lot of bronzer well a lot of product at once like cover a great area at once with bronzer and stuff i think it's a great brush but again it's a little bit scratchy so if you buy it and you feel it a little bit scratchy just it doesn't really feel that way on your skin. It's a, it's not as soft and airy, but it definitely gets the job done. And I'm very glad I got this brush. Now another brush that I absolutely love that I grabbed from Hakuhodo because I love this Chanel brush so much is the B531 brush from Hakuhodo, which is made of goat hair. It's really soft. It's actually much softer than the Chanel brush. It has a similar angled shape and it's really fluffy. So it's great for blush. It's great for bronzer. It's great for face color actually. It's going to give you a nice light coverage. So don't expect to pack on color with this. It's, gonna, it's great for face powder and setting powder just because of that and also great for highlight products. This is a really soft brush but it is again an expensive brush but it was worth the investment for me because I love the Chanel brush and this is just a slightly smaller slightly softer um, version and this is $66 and you can find this at hakuhodo.com. So now we can move on to the highlight brushes that I absolutely love and my first brush and the ultimate brush in my collection is my Suku cheek brush and I got this because Lisa Eldridge raves about this brush and raves about the Suku brushes hands down and I love this brush. It is the ultimate brush in my collection. It is the softest one I have. It's a really small domed fluffy brush and I don't know what hair is used for this but darling this is heaven on your face. It feels like a kitten's paw on your face like Lisa Eldridge said. It's really soft. It's great for applying blush color. It's great for applying highlight because it is so soft so it's going to give you a nice light airy color on your skin without being overwhelming. I mean you cannot go wrong with this brush. I think this brush is one of those luxury products that you can save towards and definitely say it is worth the price. It is over $100. I am not sure about the exact price. I'll put it on the screen so you can check the price out. But it's available through Self Selfridges. Selfridges? Is that how they pronounce it? Selfridges in the UK. And they do international shipping as well. And if you buy it um, in the US, well, if you buy from the US, if you're a US shopper, you actually get a discount because the VAT tax is not included in your price so you actually get a discount and then you pay a flat rate shipping. The shipping cost versus the discount you get because the VAT isn't included kind of balances out the actual cost of the brush. So if this is something that you would splurge on, if it's if it's something in your price range, if it's something that you definitely want to treat yourself to, I highly recommend this brush. I cannot sing its praises enough. It's one of those brushes that's worth the investment. I mean, once you feel it, it, it's like, oh my God, every other brush that you use on your face is just scratchy and ridiculous. So this is one of my must-haves. And then last up for the face brushes is my Inglot 4SS brush. So this brush could actually pass as an eye brush because of its size, and Inglot, I think, actually markets it as an eye brush, but it is far too large for my eyes and my eyes are pretty big. I have a lot of space so I don't think this would work on anybody's eyes. But it works fantastic as a small precision brush for your face. It works great for contouring your nose to get that little area right along the bridge of your nose. It works great to apply a very precise highlight. Sometimes you don't want your highlight to go all over the place. So you apply a very light highlight on your skin using this brush. You can apply um, highlight down the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow. This brush really works great for highlight. It also works great for precise contouring as well. So I think this brush is one of those brushes that gets overlooked. Not many people know about this brush, but I'm telling you right now, go out and get it because it will work well on your face. No matter what the size of your face or what you want to use it for, it actually works really well because you can get precise 
um, application with this with powder products. It is a well-made brush. It's nice and fluffy and it really gives you that airbrush finish. So I think this brush, you should definitely grab this one as well. I almost forgot to mention my Sigma P84 Precision Angled Brush, which is a small detailed brush that is great for contour in, in very precise areas. So around the bridge of your nose, along very tight contour lines, you can use this brush. And it's really great for blending out liquid and cream products. So I absolutely love this brush for using for my nose contour. So I have two other brushes that I wanted to share with you that are honorable mentions. They are a little bit sticky right now because I use them and I didn't clean them just yet. But I did have to mention my Stila number no. 33 brush which is a dual ended brush. And I'm not going to give you too much of a close up because it is dirty like I said. But it's a pointed end brush. It has two points. And I use this mainly for concealer under my eyes. Because of the pointed shape, it can get right up against my eyes and get right into the creases and corners. So I love this brush for concealer. It applies it and blends it out really well under my eyes. Another love of mine, which is actually a new love, is my Kevin Aquan Oversized Foundation Brush. Now it has a similar pointed shape as the Stila brush. But this one is, yeah, it has a bullet shape. This one is oversized. I've never seen a brush like this. And I got it recently at the makeup show. And I love this brush. It's so great for applying foundation. It gets into the corners. It blends foundation really great over the skin. It's one of my new favorites. I love the size of it because it can cover the entire face in minutes. And I absolutely love this brush. It's a pricey brush as well. It's one of those that, you know, are an investment. But so far, I'm absolutely loving it. So even though this is a brush video, I also have some sponges that I absolutely love and these are necessary for my face makeup. I could not live without these. That is the Beauty Blender Hair from Sephora and I think these retail for $18, I may be wrong, but there are many dupes on the market, just any sponge I think you can get away with but I think the Beauty Blender is the ultimate and it is the best on the market. There are dupes that come close but they're not quite the Beauty Blender. It has an egg shape with a pointed tip so you can get into different crevices and corners of your face under your eyes around your nose and I love this. This sponge is amazing. I love this sponge. You damp it of course you use it damp so it's going to expand in size and then you use it to pounce over your skin to blend in foundation blend in highlight blend in contour and it really gives you that airbrush finish and it also is great for picking up excess product off your face and I think this is one of the, the products that I couldn't live without I held out for a while to get it but when I finally did I absolutely fell in love and then my second love is my Shu Imora foundation sponge with which has a different shape than this. It also has a little pointed tip, but it's not as good for getting under the eyes as the Beauty Blender. But what I love about this sponge, it doesn't expand when it's wet, but you still use it damp and you pounce it over your skin. It has a different texture than the Beauty Blender. It's more dense, it's more of a less porous material. So it's great for blending, it's really great. It actually tops my Beauty Blender for my highlight, if I use, if I'm blending out highlight, I would prefer to use this sponge versus the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is great for foundation and pouncing over and giving you that airbrush finish, but this is great for blending, blending out highlight, blending out contour. I think this sponge, because of the density and the different texture, it works really well. So these two sponges live in my collection they are must-haves and I absolutely adore them and even if you don't get these exact sponges there are dupes on the market I think a sponge is a definite must-have in your collection so definitely grab something similar if you don't want to splurge on these but get a sponge get a sponge so there you go guys that's all my face brushes the ones that I have duplicates of the ones that I love and I adore and I have to have in my collection some of them are dupes for each other and I just sometimes, I love my Sigma brushes, but I need a replacement, a higher end replacement because these brushes fall apart and I'm not going to repurchase them just because of that. I have multiples and they're falling apart, so when they go, I have my higher end replacements. The higher end ones are a bit more pricey, but they're worth the investment. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. 
If you did, definitely hit the like button and favorites. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. I love you guys. Definitely leave any questions in the comments. And I'll leave all the information for this video below. As well as links to my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook pages where you can follow me there and keep up with my day-to-day -day activities. And until my next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.